All right, so before we begin, we, I have to establish a bit of a context here. Originally, I was going to basically make a rewrite of Iris Hart, you know, like a rewrite of her character or whatever, but two things prevented me from doing so. One, there needs to be some context established in that. The biggest disappointment that I never really explained wasn't the fact that uh, it, you know, it insulted, you know, the viewer's intelligence. It didn't have a you know, shocking cognitive dissonance with both the imagery and the writing of Plutius slash Iris Heart. It's not just that. It's not the it's not the fact that it's, you know, a poor rendition of sadism. It's not that it's any of those things. The most disappointing aspect of Plutius' character is that it's actually been done before, but, you know, successfully and better in a different character. And the other reason why I won't do a rewrite of Plutia is that on my uh, Redux video about Plutia and Iris Heart, uh, it, somebody else came up with a better idea of a character evaluation of it, so I'm just gonna like plop that onto the video here. I want to basically... Oh, and the other piece of context... Oh wait, I already did the context. So, what exact... Oh, and the other context is that I came up with this video idea. I came up with this video you know, idea from uh, watching some of my older reviews and thoughts on like the conquest ending and whatnot. And a brilliant memory flashed across my mind. A memory of an opening cutscene so dark, so brutal, so impactful, braced my mind. And who was it at the center of that entire apocalyptic setting in the cutscene? Was it Iris Heart? No, it was not Iris Heart. Was it CFW Trick? No. Know who it was? It's the real deal sadist, the purple titted Dami Mommy. CFW Magic. Not gonna lie, CFW Magic is also hotter than Iris Heart, so, you know, preference argument aside. I want to explain how Iris Heart fails, as there is constant demonstration of the fact that CFW Magic has a lot of the more violent traits of Iris Heart, but she has all the, like, the violent traits as Iris Heart in Victory, but with none of the character's personal investment. With Iris Heart, there was always sort of that sense of love. But with CW Magic, there wasn't really any, except for maybe, you know, uh, Underling, maybe. I don't remember any, like, positive scenes with Underling. But she's got a lot more coldness to her persona, her, her general mindset. She's not really one of the kinds of individuals that ever really displayed a motherly love and made vastly different choice. Also, CW Magic is like a million times more intimidating than Iris Heart ever will be. Yet somehow, despite this more powerful opening scene, people really decided to really shit on the Mark II storyline. I want to just really break down the biggest reason why CW Magic works and Iris Heart does not. And that while the characterization has Oh, both characters have um, similar dynamics, except for the ones I've already mentioned. I want to highlight the fact that just because it's a part of a greater sum for each character, that greater sum is ultimately the reason why you can take CFW Magic seriously and not Iris Harplutia, because there's this emotional disconnect. Victory, for the 99% of the time, there is no darkness to it. There is no edge, there's no grim dark. there's none of that. It's a remotely standard or at least you know standard that would be set by victory but yeah the general standard of the shallowness of what Neptunia would eventually become in a setting like that a character like Plutia slash Iris Heart just doesn't function it's quite clear that Iris Heart is literally there just to exist as a complete rib to CFW magic like her entire character part of the reason why it's so disingenuous and condescending is that it's entirely played for laughs, while yet somehow expecting you to be intimidated by her. But CFW Magic, in real time, if you were in her presence, unlike with me and Iris Heart, I'd probably actually be legitimately scared of CFW Magic, and also probably have a fear boner. Uh, you know, inappropriate expletives aside, you generally get the gist of what I'm getting at. CFW Magic is the pinnacle of actual sadism, of actual behavior and ideas associated with sadomasochism. But Plutia just seems the complete concept of condescending sarcasm in that regard. 
Sarkat. But she, if they were, you know, acknowledging the fact that, you know, she was condescending and sarcasm, it might have actually made Victor a better written story. But ultimately, it is the very framework of which the character dynamics are in that ultimately crippled the image of Iris Heart to me and just further solidify uh, CFW Magic's presence as a sadistic character. But yeah, let's, uh, but if you want to over, you want to, you want to do some oversimplification, Victory Bad, aren't too good. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to let you go. Uh, like if you haven't already subscribed, if you're new, click the bell and select all of you, notified of more of my content, follow me on Twitter at IamNor6. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I am heading